For many people of short stature, getting around a large university isn't the easiest task. Some even have to transition to online classes due to mobility issues. Kaplan's Laura Palfrey reports on resources available here in South Florida. For most students, thinking about how they're getting to class requires no second thought, but for some, it actually serves as quite the challenge. Well, Dina Moyth is a student at Liberty University who transitioned to online classes due to mobility concerns. So in terms for me, when I went to college in Princeton, I had a power wheelchair, so I was able to move around. That was fine, but for someone that's a little person that doesn't use a power wheelchair, I think they should, you know, have the classes nearby, not so far away, because, like, for little people, they, their legs are short, so, like, it is tiring for them to walk. For most people with disabilities, the Disability Resource Center is their only hope in trying to get special arrangements made for them in school. Most of the accommodations around campuses are geared toward people who are blind or deaf, but for people of short stature, these aren't the greatest. The only arrangements for people with dwarfism is additional time for test taking, elevators, and transportation services between classes, but this isn't always enough. We want to make sure that we're educating everybody else uh, about being inclusive, about you know awareness of different types of disabilities. For example, whenever we're talking about physical barriers, we have to make sure um, to not assume that we are um, accommodating a physical barrier for only a wheelchair user, but also for individuals of low stature. Well, Dina Moyth isn't letting this stop her from living her life to the fullest. She's an influencer and content creator who shares her experience as a little person and is even appearing in New York Fashion Week this year. For people with dwarfism, navigating through schools can be challenging due to limited resources, but hopefully through education and awareness, more schools can adapt to a more inclusive environment. Reporting for Kaplan News, I'm Laura Palfrey.